of this from the, the field. field. Hello, Wednesday meeting, and welcome to the season finale of Updates from the Road, season one. So we'll be going over our last week here in Bangladesh and what we've been doing for Changemakers 365. So we'll kick it off with Shmila. All right, so we'll, we'll pick up where we left off. And um, as we were telling you guys last week, we uh, have been working in this block, um, which Love Army has a lot of projects in. And we basically, uh, for the women of this block, had a tea and talk event. And we had henna for them and a, be a beautician come in as well as provided food and tea and just really an opportunity for them to get out of their houses and, and talk to one another. Um, we, at that event, we also had a social circus. John, do you want to tell us about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the social circus was great. It's um, a group in, in um, the camp that takes in Rohingya refugees and then teaches them how to perform and then also kind of gives like a moral lesson. So they have this kind of Three Stooges type skit where they're hitting each other with mops and brooms and then they teach the importance of washing hands and hygiene using water. Do you want to tell what you taught them? Yes, <laughs> I taught them how to do the jumping over the leapfrog trick um, as exhibited here. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone is doing it. The other thing that happened simultaneously during the social circus and the tea and talk was haircutting. And so they did um, beard trims and then haircuts as well. And the men actually, it was kind of crazy because you went from, I didn't ever think anybody looked super disheveled, but then after everyone got all cleaned up in that block, I was like, wow, everyone looks really good. And, and, and people were, they were very proud of, of how they looked after, so that was a really cool thing to be a part of seeing. An interesting person we met on the trip was a man who is 101 years old, and he is a refugee who has just been resettled about two months ago, um, after four months in this no man's land area. So he had been resettled, but then he was, they were going to put a road through where he was living, and so he was going to have to move again. And so as part of our new, like, building new shelters, he was, like, at the top of the list of who we wanted to put in. And so we um, put him into his new shelter and then also uh, painted it and gave him some, like, cooking supplies and things like that. And he had said that it was really important to him because when they came there, he said, we had nothing, and so you giving this to us is so important. And while we're on the topic of age, we met another guy who is like 92, and he is just kind of on the, um, on the spot. He came up to us and was talking to us and, and took us to his house. And he like cruised through this mountainous area, and I have a video of me doing it to recreate, to reenact it. But he just cruised through um, and, and was like unstoppable. We were really amazed by him. And so he lived with this other family who um, is shown here. And they have taken him in because he hasn't had any family. Even back when they were in Myanmar, he had not had any, any family. And so they've been looking after him. And so we um, got him a new bed and um, some new cooking supplies and things like that because he literally had nothing and he was sleeping in the same room as chicken. In that same area, we have been building shelters with Obat. And one of the activities we decided to do for the 240 or so shelters yeah. that are there um, is to provide plants outside of each of the homes. And uh, uh, we enlisted actually some of the Obat volunteers and hired them to go ahead and, and plant um, three different types of vegetables outside each home. And it was really powerful as we were talking to some of the families because it reminded them of home. So it was an opportunity, we thought, to give them um, something to look forward to uh, in the future, you know, a little bit of joy and hope for the future. So we were thinking about um, how we wanted to honor and thank some of the closest people to us here on the ground. And one of those people is our translator, but also our change maker's procurement officer, and this wonderful woman who wears many different hats, um, and she's a part of our team. And she told us one day as we were working in this beautiful place that she wanted to bring her, her child, her young daughter here. And so that got us thinking and we decided to um, spend the day with them here at this resort uh, and took them on a boat ride. Uh, so at least started the day with that. And that was one of our most special experiences as well because even though I've stayed here for about six weeks, I've never actually been out <laughs> on this boat. So yeah, so we got to spend um, time on, on one of the moon fisherman boats uh, that are that we see quite frequently here. 
Uh, right after the boat ride, we had a photo shoot for the family. Um, John did an amazing job, and the whole family was really happy with all of the photos. He actually got them to laugh as well, <laughs> which uh, has been quite challenging. Um, so that was really special. And uh, Ishad's husband um, actually said something really special. John, what was the quote? He said at the end, he said, um, today was very amazing, and I got to experience Bangladesh in a new way today. So that was pretty. That's pretty cool. Cool, cool compliment. Yeah. Another person that we wanted to thank was our driver Amanatullah, who has been amazing. Yes. Um, every <laughs> yeah, one of the best uh, parts of living here. Really trustworthy and always has our back, and has carried multiple heavy things in the car <laughs> when other drivers would not agree to doing that. So we found out that he had been saving for a phone um, that is quite popular in this area yeah. uh, for about six months. And so when we heard that, we, we knew exactly what we needed to do. And so we bought that for him and uh, gifted that to him actually today. And the amount of joy on his face was, <laughs> was so amazing excited, to see. Yeah. Yeah. Showing his friends throughout the day mm -hmm. and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. so really exciting so it's yeah. very good and then so with that we'll close um, thanks so much for watching the updates from the field and now as you can see it's dark so I have like an hour to make this video before you guys are at the meeting so here we go <laughs>